I think it's an amazing opportunity for people to have their eyes opened to what culture um, can bring, the richness that it can bring, the ways it can start off conversations where people might not have even thought about speaking about certain things and elements before. Bringing all of these events and mainly free events to people that might not A, be able to afford it or B, not even know those things are out there has been an amazing eye-opener. The Borough Culture for the Band has been a really important event. We had two main projects that we uh, organised and, and um, ran on behalf of the council. First of all, we organised and took part in the Brasstastic Brass Festival, which was held at Victoria Park, where we engaged with three other brass bands from the locality, uh, Valley Brass, Trinity Girls Brass Band, St Helens Youth Brass Band, and obviously the Head Up Band. And we all played over uh, four or five hours to um, and a massive crowd actually, there was lots and lots of people turned out, that was fantastic and it was really good to bring all brass bands from St Helens together in one event uh, to celebrate brass uh, as part of the Borough of Culture. The second project that we did was we produced a book all about the history of the Head Up Band because the band was established in 1861. Our chairman Godfrey Irving has been putting together the history of the band for a number of years now and the Borough of Culture was an ideal opportunity to publish the book, to bring everything together, to raise some money, which we did through the Creative Underground brand, and we raised some money ourselves, and we enabled us to publish the history of the band, which has gone down uh, as a great success. So we brought two productions to St. Helens. One was called Me Versus Me, and that was a piece that revolves around mental health. And the other show that we brought was As The Well Tipped, a large scale show which focuses on climate change. So both of these themes are really important, really relevant, particularly at this time. And it feels like St. Helens have really acknowledged that and really bought into that. Everybody knows St. Helens for the coal, the glass, the railways and the canals, but there's also like well, an underground creative scene as well. Part of the project, which was um, run by the World of Glass, was an exhibition kind of gathering together creatives, past and present artists um, who have either studied or are from St Helens. The next part is run by a company called Redot and um, a gentleman called Roger Hill, who was a creative director of the Outcast Theatre Company in the 80s and 90s, and they were involved in the opening of the Citadel, um, so the kind of performance arts side of the town. And the last bit, we launched some community grants towards Heritage Open Days, basically where people do free heritage events. Of course, the project isn't just about like the heritage research we're doing, it's about heritage in general and creating a lasting legacy.